plants that don't need sunlight. Bromeliads are tropical plants that usually come with vibrant pops of color. Their unique look and tropical feel make them a top houseplant choice. Bromeliads look best on shelves, on tabletops, or even on the floor, depending on the species. Most bromeliad species prefer bright indirect sunlight as opposed to direct light. Indirect light means that the sun is not directly hitting the plant. An example of direct light would be if your plant were outside directly under the sun, or if you placed your plant next to an open window with the sun shining directly on it. Extended exposure to full sun can damage a bromeliad's leaves. The Chinese evergreens, of the genus Aglaonema, are fleshy tropical Asian herbs of slow growth, with leathery leaves often bearing silvery or colorful patterns, they are durable and are tolerant of indoor conditions. Chinese evergreen is an herbaceous perennial. Commonly used as a houseplant, it reaches a height of 2 to 3 feet. The glossy variegated leaves are lanceolate, evergreen, and 9 to 12 inches long. The cast iron plant is also commonly referred to as the iron plant because of its hardy nature. It can survive a wide variety of conditions that make it a top choice for black thumbs and busy plant owners. Its rich green leaves are perfect for accenting any corners of the room that need a natural touch. Cast irons are low-light plants that can survive almost anywhere in your home. They are slow to grow, but also really hard to kill. The only requirement is to keep them away from direct sunlight in order to keep their leaves from getting scorched or turning brown. If you want to give your cast iron plant some extra care, wipe down its leaves once a week with a damp cloth to keep the dust off. Clean leaves allow it to more easily take in the sun. Parlor palms are lush plants that are great for your dining room or living room. Owning a parlor palm in the Victorian era was an indication of a family's affluence. Although not as exclusive in today's world, the parlor palm still brings a sophisticated feel to any room it occupies. Parlor palms can grow in low light, but grow the best in medium light. They also prefer shadier areas instead of bright areas, so you don't have to worry about keeping them too close to a window. Parlor palms can even thrive with artificial light if needed. Peace lilies are sturdy, easy-to-grow plants with glossy, dark green oval leaves that narrow to a point. The leaves rise directly from the soil. These plants also periodically produce lightly fragrant white flowers that resemble calla lilies. The long-lasting, pure white flowers will turn a pale green as they age. Peace lilies enjoy low to medium light and can also thrive on fluorescent light. The more light the peace lilies receive, the more likely they are to produce white flowers. They can thrive in areas with less light, but are much less likely to flower. The peace lily is also one of the best plants to purify the air. Take a look at our peace lily care guide to learn more in-depth information about caring for your peace lily. Grows up to 2 feet tall. Pale green leaves grow 10 to 12 inches long and have a dark green feathered effect from the middle of the leaf to the outer edge. Undersides of leaves are pinkish maroon. New leaves look pink before they unroll. The plant gets its name from its leaves' distinct markings that resemble a peacock's tail feathers. It grows about 2 feet tall. The tiny flowers it produces can be either white or purple. Peacock plants prefer low to medium light and can experience sad leaves with an excess of direct light. Pale markings on the leaves are a sign of too much sun for this plant. When shopping around for a peacock plant, it's best to pick a healthier species and to avoid smaller plants with brown leaves. You'll have more success raising a healthy peacock plant if you start with a healthy one. Peperomia leaves can be smooth, rippled, or puckered, and they can have marbled, blotchy, or striped patterns. One thing common to all types of peperomias is their flowers. Peperomia flowers look like white or greenish spikes on the end of long stems. These plants prefer bright, indirect light and can still flourish under fluorescent lights. Peperomias can also prosper in partially shaded areas if necessary. Avoid direct light to deter burnt leaves.
The foliage of philodendrons is usually green but may be coppery, red, or purplish. Parallel leaf veins are usually green or sometimes red or white. Shape, size, and texture of the leaves vary considerably, depending on species and maturity of the plant. The fruit is a white to orange berry. The philodendron plant can remove pollutants like formaldehyde and clean the air. The plant's leaves are big enough that they absorb moisture and release it as clean oxygen into the room. All species of philodendrons prefer bright, indirect light and can also thrive in partial shade. Be wary if your philodendron begins to have long and skinny stems with long gaps between the leaves. Pothose is an evergreen plant with thick, waxy, green, heart-shaped leaves with splashes of yellow. As a houseplant, it is commonly grown as a hanging plant. Pothose can climb by means of aerial roots, and wild or cultivated plants grown outdoors can reach enormous heights using tall trees as support. Pothose is considered one of the best indoor plants to purify the air, removing common toxins such as formaldehyde, xylene, and benzene. Pothose is also called hunter's robe, arum ivy, money plant, taro vine. The prayer plant is a low-growing evergreen perennial that spreads vegetatively with rhizomes. The brown blotches on either side of the midrib in young leaves change to emerald green and finally to moss green as they age, contrasting with the median green leaf. The prayer plants, also called praying hands, obedience plant, gets its name for its unique habit of raising the leaves to an upright position at night time like the way children put their hands together to pray. The leaves fold like hands during prayer. Prayer plants prefer bright, indirect light, but can tolerate low light. However, if it does not get enough light during the day, the leaves will close in the evening and will not reopen. This plant's leaves will also begin to fade if it does not get enough light. It prefers high humidity and moist soil. Spider plant produces small white flowers. Long, wiry stems up to two feet long are produced, sometimes with a few small leaves, especially in response to short days and long, uninterrupted nights for at least three weeks, although they may appear at any time of year indoors. Spider plant is an evergreen, perennial plant with tuberous roots and a tuft appearance. It does not exceed 50 centimeters in height and diameter, but it can be spread on the ground and cover a large area. Its foliage is of medium density and has a fine texture. 